All right, do you hear this wheelbarrow? That wheelbarrow says how the beginning of the season's been. That's how the rest of us feel. It's wore out and it's not even June. Right, boys? <laughs> All right, so we're in Malta, New York, and we are getting ready to build a pondless waterfall on this beautiful Monday morning. Down the street last year, Jason and I, the first project of the year, right, Jay? Yeah. We built the pondless waterfall down the street, and that's what the this customer had saw that job. Can't talk today, it's Monday. And uh, so anyway, now we're here on 2021, building them a pondless waterfall. So let's go check out the site. All right, so this is gonna be our access. Of course, everyone has beautiful grass. And uh, it'd be nice to show up somewhere where maybe somebody didn't have such nice grass because we know we're gonna mat it down, unfortunately. It's warm, it's dry. They do have a sprinkler system, so that's gonna help. But we are gonna to have to bring the equipment all the way through here, just making sure that we don't cross the line for the neighbors because we don't wanna wreck the neighbor's grass. And back in here, we have this little bit of an elevation and this is where we're gonna put this pondless waterfall because they got this beautiful patio and they got some nice windows facing into this back area. So right here we got it marked out. This is where the pondless waterfall is gonna go. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta get that equipment off, get the equipment back here and we gotta start digging this pondless pit. All right, so we're at the stage now where we got the whole pondless pit dug out. We're getting ready to put underlayment, our liner, and our aqua blocks in. We actually, right where Kyle is, he's starting to um, clean up that first shelf or, or the waterfall that's gonna be dropping into the pondless pit. And the reason we wanna dig that out is so that way we don't have a bunch of soil falling in our pit. We're still gonna have to flip the liner back and forth and manipulate it for what type of rock we have but this will just get us started. And Wes, what are you doing? Taking care of that sprinkler line? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So Wes is just cutting out some roots because we want to make sure that nothing is going to damage our liner. And these are the aqua blocks. So the aqua blocks are actually our water storage um, cells. If that's what you want to call it, or modules. And uh, each one of these guys, these are the small aqua blocks and they hold almost 17 gallons, like 16 and change. So what we do generally is we calculate the length of stream, what width and standing water we're gonna have and then double that amount so we have a big enough storage area the other thing uh, Wes and Jason are doing is they're gonna get this vault in this vault is actually here let me turn this sideways this vault actually has this foot on there so your aqua block actually sits here so that way this is always at the lowest level possible for your water storage and then the pump goes in here and your plumbing goes out the side so right now they're dry fitting everything, which just makes sense because we don't wanna get the liner and everything and have to pull it back out. That way they can mark out where that vault's gonna be and then we're onto the liner and having fun. So we got our first drop set and now we want to go to the second drop we kind of did just a little bit of a rough in dig so that way we have somewhere to head but right now the rock that we want to put in this space in here is just a little too tight so what we're going to do is just flop the liner back like we have here and the underlayment and now we're going to carve out a section in here for our next wear stone So we're at the point where we're starting to seal the waterfalls. This right here in front of me is this, uh, this is gonna be a good size drop. I'd say we're gonna have about 
16 to 18 inches once we gravel the bottom of this pit. Went in the woods and found this awesome stump. What I did is back in that corner underneath the stump is I sealed that all up with our pond adhesive foam. That way that water will pool up because I want to put some aquatic plants in there so they kind of peek up and around that old stump. And then back in here we have these little rocks in here because I want to create that ripple effect like you see in a stream. And then where the foam can is, that's going to be another drop. And then on the upper end we're going to have a drop facing more of the house. And basically you're looking at about three drops, which is pretty cool in a 12 foot area. But we had some good elevation. Right now we're running this pipe down here. And what's important is right now you see all these butt rocks, or the, the butts of all those rocks is uh, we got to tuck that liner but once we're done we're going to do some outcropping so it just doesn't look so straight and bland and then again the same thing on the other side this up and running and pretty much everything we wanted to happen is happening and then some but see that area underneath the stump now I'm gonna be able to put aquatic plants in there uh, Kyle is actually starting to put some of the terrestrial plants on Jason's hooking up some wires and Wes is starting to work our way out with cleanup so once we get all these perennials in this is really gonna look phenomenal and of course I know the water's dirty and we always get questions about that but it will clean up it's just part of the construction process